Well, hello there. Welcome to a new series of Static Industries. That is how you say it, or not industries, but Static Industry is how you say it. Um, yeah, I got a little burned out on Satisfactory for a little bit. I dumped in an unholy amount of time in a unreasonably short amount of time, if that makes sense. But uh, yeah, so I got a little burned out. I'll put that on the back burners for a little bit. Uh, it's not going away forever. I'll have another urge to play it again, I'm sure, sooner rather than later. But I also kind of want to get back into Minecraft. So we're going to start Static Industries. It looks like a cool pack. Uh, kind of Greg Tech, but I think it's like uh, modern industrialization-ish. So it's kind of like Greg Tech, not really. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, it seems to be kind of like a shorter pack and everything I've seen online. Oh, when I search this pack on YouTube and stuff, it kind of seems like not a lot of people finish the pack. So that could be a bad omen. Probably is. But uh, we'll find out. And we'll see if we can finish it or not. No promises here. Uh, I went to creative mode just to check out quests and kind of see roll gen and see how it performed on my computer. Everything looked fine. So I'm going to go ahead here, delete that old creative mess around world and start a new one. Okay, we have spawned in our world here. And let's go ahead and open a quest here. Quest book, get into it. Uh, so this is a welcome quest. This quest will be your guide. Top left or of your inventory or pressing F4. F4 is the quest key. Got it. Main focus of this pack is modern industrialization, a great tech like mod, like I said before, and I've never even played this mod. <laughs> um, as modern industrialization has a lot of changes to make playing through, to make playing through it much easier than, so we got removal of individual tiered machine, that's nice. Uh, removal of half dozen tedious tools, also very nice. Powerful pipe system, generating resources that happen to leave your base, all good and nice. So altered ore gen, let's see that the ore gen's like this pack. We have uh, whatever version that was released. Um, now mix close to origin, you find a Greg Tech. There's a quest in the chapter that gives you more detailed of ore veins with the prospector's pick. Got it. Uh, simple voice chat. I'm gonna go through the rest of this by myself. And then if there's anything big, like the orge, origin changes, I'll let you guys know. All right, so, oh, the hole. Um, as you can see here, I now have a, a weapon. We have a twin blade, came from one of the quests, kind of explained that better, uh, better combat or whatever's in this pack um and we got a void portal to the void dimension because that's also in the pack if you want to build there um i probably won't because i don't want to um but everything else should be fine so let's go ahead and uh loot this pillager outpost yeah you'll get you'll get stuck there, right go up. okay oh my a lot of you down there huh let's see what you got oh nice nice Cross. Oh God! <laughs> I heard them like, huh? And then they're all there. Okay. Um, could be an issue. That's the real issue for sure. Yeah, we're gonna die. Ooh. Running, running, and running, running, and running. Oh my God! Oh, dip and dodge. Um, food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. How do we want to approach this? Let's see. Okay, he's still chasing. I'm going to probably need a long shot. Oh, God, there's more? All right. We start to loot that chest. And get the uh, void dimension back. We need to get our hearts up first. So we need to grab some wood. And see what we can. Oh my god, I thought the leaf falling was a creeper walking towards me. I almost lost it. Okay. Uh, of course. And how do we make bread in this pack? Let's see. You gotta cook it. Yeah, okay. Alright. Of course, it wouldn't be that easy. Why would it ever be so easy? And I just have a feeling those boars are gonna attack me if I attack them. Which is fair enough. You know, gotta, gotta protect yourself. We do have sheep though, and I'm sorry, child, you're going to lose a parent here, possibly too. Yep, sorry about that. But you know, it's just the way of the world, kid. You gotta... I need more wood. Okay. We're going to do this. We're going to get a furnace together, um, which means I'm going to make a pickaxe. I hope everything just works the way it normally works in vanilla. I'm not sure. Okay, that's nice. We can do that at least. Sorry about that, kid. This is a uh, welcome to reality. That's what I'm going to say. You're in my world now, buddy. 
Uh, okay, let's get some cobblestone together, furnace, cook it up. And yeah. I was also looking at how to get bread because we need a little bit more food and it's getting dark. Uh, just about, I think. But here's our cooked mutton so we get a little bit of hearts back. Much better. So we do this. No. We need a wood bucket. And then we do infinite waters in the pack. That's nice. And we do this, I think. No. No. Which wheat dough. Oh, okay, it's without that. Got it. Um, we do that. Which need another bucket of water to get a little bit more wheat. There we go. And then you cook down. Nice. And cool. So it looks like our stuff stays in the uh, crafting bench as well. We don't need like a special one for it to stay in. Which is very nice. Go ahead and uh, eat that. Oh, yes. Very nice. Now we go back and challenge the remaining losers over there. Also turns out I shouldn't place that because I can't mine it back up. Good thing we don't need it. Ugh. How do I get out of here? There we go. Let's see what's in the rest of these chests up here. I didn't get to get the rest of it. Onions. Lots of onions. Damn. Um, a frost wand. Could be useful. Carrots. Spikes. We need a knot back. That's cool. A diamond sword. Now that. That is nice. Probably is. What is that? Six attack damage. Oh, yeah. So. A little bit better. I have no idea what this does. Um, cast spells from equipped spell book. Interesting. We'll take that. This, that, that. And we have our crafting table here. Go and just make planks with that. Make the bed and sleep. Just running around looking for a place to settle down and call home. And I noticed there's an A2 meteor there. There's apparently a zinc sample there. And there's also a ruined portal right there. So let's check that out. And then on the bridge over there. Huh. I'll be honest, I, I like the idea behind Young's Bridges, but I also, I just, I'm not, not the biggest fan. They kind of like the world feeling like it's wild and unexplored and then you run into all these bridges and it doesn't feel like that anymore. But that's probably just me. That's beaks. Um, we'll grab the. Ow, are you serious? <laughs> we'll grab the knife just in case we need it for something. Uh, cooking wise, that's a lot of birch. I hate birch with a passion. Huh. Looks like we have a ship wreck here. Um, is there an easy way in stock? Or. Coming this way, I guess. Let us see what is inside this chest. Oh my god. We'll be taking all of that. Iron, lapis, emeralds? Absolutely. Very nice. So, so we found a sign. So 400 blocks this way, there should be a village. And we have reached said village. Let us see what's going on in here. Potatoes. That's a book. Don't really need it. We can put the these uh, steadfast shoes on. Free up an inventory slot. What's in here? Or that's. Is it upstairs? Ooh, there is an upstairs. Cool. Uh, okay. Let's uh see what's going on around here, shall we? Little cove, I guess. I don't know what you call it. Ooh. Food, thank you. Blowberries. Never seen this place for a waystone. Usually it's thinking of something else. Okay. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen this generation for a village. Let's see. What else is here? I got something over here. Can I? I can do that. <laughs> That's feathers. I don't really need them. Okay. There's gotta be a first story to this, right? No? Oh, there it is. 
Oh, the animals are down here. Cool. I'll leave y'all alone for now. I'll be back. All right, I think that was it for the village, which is, uh... No, there's... Looks like there's houses back here. That's pretty disappointing. But there is this nice area to build, and I think we are going to build here because I did see a close-by copper and iron deposit, and, you know, it's Minecraft, so those are both be very, very important, especially in the early game. We might as well set up a shop close by. There we go. And I like a spruce, so. Let's see. Any. Oh, shit. Oh, I almost died. Er, okay. Did it again. Let's go out the area, and then we'll start for real. Found a axe in here, which is nice. Some gunpowder, gold, and eh, moss carpet. Moss block, though. That is very intriguing to me. All right, um, I think here seems a good place I need to settle down and call home. Got a river here, some cows, the village is right there, then those close by deposits that I saw are within like two or three hundred blocks, so it's all good. Go ahead and start placing stuff down. See your chest normal? Thank God they're normal. Okay. We'll just do this. We'll place that down and start organize organizing things. All right, actually, I just got some quests done i haven't looked at the quest book at all and i probably should here um but we'll go ahead and start placing i don't know our metals and whatnot up there got some more this best then do a single row no don't do that not mean to do that and to do that make some more chests do more but no damn it all right now i have everything more or less uh sorted our blocks will go here probably more blocks there our metals here random things there um farming related stuff and food here mob drops up there and yeah that's really all we have right now so but and also uh plant our sugarcane get this show on the road all right, so I cleared away some trees. The immortal snail is after us. And now let's go ahead and open up our quest book here and see what we got. So we got the getting started, we get the trees, we get all of, what was that? A common coin. Okay, so this place, this is a start to 99% of any playthrough. You can explore through the world a bit, but eventually you'll need to make a basic basic tools. Uh, the wooden bucket we did make, what do we get for that? Um, stone spikes. Could be useful for that immortal snail. <laughs> um, go ahead and place that there. These can go here and there. And then what else do we have? Um, pocket crafting. We'll probably do that. Drawers. No, not your pants. Okay. Um, the Stone Age. We need 16 stone to go any further. Your contract done on Pyrava Carving Station has been added by Hands Workbench. It doesn't appear that it currently can pull from adjacent inventories, but it might in the future. I thought I'd make this just a crafting table. Can you shut up, please? There we go. So that's a quest done. Um, let's see. So we get we need some drawers, but not just yet. Then we got Tom Simple Storage, which we'll get into that for sure. Definitely helpful. A frayed backpack. Which is nice. We have some cows around here anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of a base here set up. I saw some coal, uh, coal samples right here. And there's coal. <laughs> so is this all just going to be coal? That'd be pretty nice. Kind of seems like, yeah. So, it's they said it's the same as Greg Tech. So, I assume all this is going to be coal-related products. Uh, This is Lignite, right? Yeah. Very cool. Very coal. There's our 16 stone. Go ahead and grab all of that. Then we need some time to mine. So we need a prospector's pick. Something random. Uh, so I just right click this. Yeah, so coal. I knew that because I saw, you know, <laughs> the stuff. But what did we get that was random out of that thing? Oh, I think we got torches. I don't think we had torches before. Or did I get torches out of the quest? No, and then we got torches. Okay. I'll take it actually. So prepare for create. We need 32 and decide. Oh, game. 
This pack is focused on create mod. For this, you'll need a lot of andesite. Luckily, this quest rewards you with some extra. Once you have bronze mixer, you'll unlock recipe to make andesite renewable. Cool. That's good, at least. Uh, for those who don't like create, I've kept the create requirements low for the pack. You can choose to pursue create further after you pass the parts where it's required, but fully progressing create is not needed to beat the pack. Great. Create is, you know, create is, it's, it, it's overused. I think that's kind of like a problem a lot of people have with like Twilight Forest and stuff. It's a great mod, but it just gets overused in every single pack. They're kind of like, all right, I'm, I'm over it. I don't want to go through the entire Twilight quest line for the 200th time, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna, uh, where do I even find Andesite actually? So it also looks like these coins can be used to craft Andesite, which let's be real here. That might be the move. Um, they absolutely, there's an iron deposit close by, so that's not worth it. Copper, not worth it. Um, coal, maybe amethyst. I did see a, a geo node for amethyst close by, so not that either. Um, let's see what the tier two coins are. Redstone, L, L, diamonds, maybe. No, what does this do? Tungsten. Uranium. I should probably go and find andesites for being real. But uh we don't have we only have enough for a 16 so I have enough for the quest, is it? Yeah, I don't have to go find andesite still. Dang it. While looking for andesite, it seems I have stumbled upon another village. This is not the one we saw earlier, it's not the one that we're pointed to. This one seems really cool. Um, I'm assuming I can't just pick you guys up, right? Dang it. Worth a try. Let's see what you guys have. Food. Nice. They didn't really have much. We do have a lot more food now, though, so something at least. And is that spotted? Go ahead and claim that quest. We get a coin out of it. Let's go ahead and put it away. Mob drop. Food related item. Don't need all of that inventory at once. All the furnaces from the village. Go there. Boom, boom. And here, I guess. So next up, we need some andesite alloy. And that's just going to need zinc or iron nuggets. And like I said earlier, there is an iron deposit like uh, uh, like 50 blocks over there. So I'll go, go get it some uh, iron. All right, we're mining at the iron node. Also turned out to be a nickel node as well. But let's go ahead and take some of that, turn it into nougats and get some anisite alloy going. That should be good for, oh wow, hello. So we got engineer's goggles. Okay, we got the wrench, the iron hammer. I'm not sure what that's used for. <laughs> um, does it tell me what the, it's used for? I think that's just a random reward. Okay, so the wrench, goggles, wrench. Okay. Um, then next up on the list is a four large wheels and four small, or I guess normal size cog wheels. Made some shafts and apparently that was a quest. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, let's use a birch wood because birch is disgusting. So we need, I think I said at least four of these and then two, three, four of those. Nice. Yeah, okay, so I don't think it should be anywhere else. And now we should have this quest done. Then stress units and rotational force. Do we need this? Oh wait, so it just tells you what it is. I know all about stress units and speedometers. And all of that. This doesn't let me control it, does it? Monitor. Okay, yeah, no, it, just, it just monitors. Um, we got a fluid valve. That's uh, cool. Up here, we can put like modded type useful stuff, but we're not using it quite yet. Um, so oh, next up on this list is probably getting some. But we have spikes. Yes, that counts. And we get a drawer upgrade of tier four. Okay. 
Um, go ahead and toss that with that stuff. I don't know where to put this. There you go. Um, okay, so we got more quests complete and create. Okay, so this is gotta get two quests one time, I guess. Create mechanics. Uh, we I know about it. Uh, if you don't, there's about seven thousand videos on YouTube explaining everything. So, uh, go for it. So we got all this stuff now. Display board, portable fluid interface. Mechanical plow could be useful, uh, and the fluid pipe could be useful. Uh, the the other things not so much, at least not right now. Uh, let's go back to the getting started page and let's go for a rotational power. So we need water wheels. Um, let's just get some water wheels. Will the how do I craft it again? Um, this. Let's go for like I don't know. Four water wheels for now. Should be good. And then out of this, we get two more water wheels. So now we have six. Okay. Um, and then from there, we're probably... Well, we don't need a hand crank anymore. Um, so it's more optimal to have... Yeah, so why would you put the hand crank after you get a water wheel? I don't know. Uh, I can also get a windmill going, but we don't have... Oh, we don't even need that. We could absolutely get a windmill going. Um, a large water wheel. I think we might as well do that just for the quest. Yes. Uh, whether we use it or not, I don't know. Because I used it in the Chosen Architect pack. And they're not the best. Give you more like stress, but speed is less than ideal. Um... So andesite casing. Okay, so now we're skipping steps here. Um, well, actually, not really, because we just need to get some of this. So to do it, oh shit, wrong. Damn it, not the cobblestone. Uh, to get this, you'll just need to do one, two, three, four, five, and then we just rip all. Stop, stop. Oh my god, please stop. And then just take your andesite that we don't have, or the andesite stuff that we don't have just yet, because we used them all on the other stuff. Then go ahead and do this. Right click it on there. Then get andesite casings. And now we have another quest complete. And we get a rotation speed controller. Now that's the speed controller is something we like. Uh, okay, so it wrote, wait, so using the value panel on its side. Yes. So this will just automatically speed up stuff that we want. Oh my God. Yes. This is huge. Actually, we don't have to do huge messes of cogwheels. This is massive. Next up on the list of things to make, though, is a mechanical press. So for that, we need a block of iron. Hopefully it's just yeah, cool. It's a block of iron. Um, anti casing and a shaft. So shaft, block of iron, anti casing. We have a mechanical press. Go ahead and claim. Oh, oh, pin that. So we get some iron plates from that, which is nice. Gravel. Okay. <laughs> um, and project table, an early game best friend. So I guess that's what we got the plates for. I'm assuming the mechanical mixer. Ooh. Uh, ooh, lumber axes are nice, I think. Um, okay, so we got a little bit of stuff we need to do here. We already have hammers. We already have a hammer. Where I put it? Hammer. We got a quest reward. So wall mining block by block. It's a three by three area. Very nice. Very nice and dandy. Um. We got a trash can, which I know is a quest. Uh, we'll go and put that back there so we don't accidentally use it. Uh, so we need the lumber axe, a project table as well. Um, so to make the project table, yeah, it seems easy enough. So just a crafting table. That's this. I'm already forgetting. Okay, so we should actually be able to. 
almost make it. Now we can make it, right? Yes, a project table. Very nice. And that gets us this quest. XP dust. What the? F what do with this? XP storage handbook. That'll be useful, I assume. Got mechanical belt at some point. I don't remember when that was. Um, and now we can do mechanical mixer. We need the mechanical mixer. And yeah. And a basin as well. And then I keep forgetting we also are getting double quests. Um, we'll collect all of this that we got from other quest rewards. And yeah, that's nice. Um, looks like we got this. That. Now we have a lot of create stuff, and we have not made a lot of create stuff. Um, oh, this is actually super nice. Deployers. That's nice. We'll only set up the actual water wheel. Um, a sprinkler. Does that accelerate crop growth? Sprinkles on. Okay. It. Makes it water. It makes it saturated, I guess. Um, eh, I don't think that's gonna be that useful. An item vault, which is nice. Um, what other quest do we have here? Utilities. We got some wind chimes from a quest reward. Cool. All right, so I think we need to go ahead and uh, let's see. Actually, we have we need to get our water wheels up and going. And well, we have a river right here, so we might as well make our water wheel set up here. Don't you agree? Go ahead and place that there. Grab some water wheels. Place them like so. Then cut this tree down. Okay. Getting nighttime, which sucks. Um, let's go ahead and not one, two blocks, maybe. And I don't remember where you need to place the water. I think it can just go here, right? I think. And cover that. Cover that. Yes. Very nice. And then you just repeat the process. And then you get a little bit faster spin and all that good stuff. I think I could, oh, we do have room actually. So we will, we can actually go ahead and do something like this as well to speed it up even more if we wanted to. Um, let's see. No, it's going the wrong way. Let's see. I think if we do something like this, Why you know go in the way I want you to go? If we get it to like go under as well, I think that'll help. I hear a skeleton. I see a skeleton. Alright, now we should sleep. Alright, so I went ahead and placed some more water in this row. So now we have the water falling over top of it and then going under it. So it's all pushing kind of one way. And hopefully it gets us a little bit more rest capacity so we're at 256 now i'm not really sure if it matters or not um to be completely honest and then our rotation speed controller is about to come in handy so we can go ahead and just pretty much just remove this as it is there take that and then you just right click it and you can just i think do that um, but we need a i remember there was a cog on top of it go ahead and get a cog wheel Get a gearbox to also reroute which direction it goes. Oh, those uh particles confused me. So can I go ahead and put the cog up there? No. Right. I don't think that's how it works. I think you put it. No, I think I saw a big one go in there. I think is what it was. Let's see if this is it. Oh yeah, see that that wasn't there before. Oh my god, the speed! Look at it. <laughs> That's great. I mean, stop a gearbox on here, and then we just kind of come out this way, um, which is fantastic. So now you don't have to have the like giant cogwheel monstrosity. Now we have maximum speed with just this. 
which is fantastic. That's a massive, massive help uh, this early in the game. So next thing on this list is we need iron plates. Um, so we can really just go ahead. Boom. Oh, at current speed, it's 2000 stress units. Um, so yeah, we can't, I, I, that's too fast, but it's, we could just do something like this. 576 at current speed. And I think each one of these, let's see, can I see? So I think, hmm, 256 stress units at that. And this takes 576 at current speed. So it might be 256 stress units per thing, um, per water wheel here, I think. And then I want to change at least two of these into vertical gearboxes so that we can get the rotational force down here. And then how do I want to do this? I kind of want a belt that will go under this so we can automate it right away. I'm thinking, let's see, I'll grab some stuff real quick. We're in need of one more gearbox for this to work how I want it to work. I think I'm um, we'll gonna go ahead and craft that pretty easily. And then if we just come over here, we need a little bit further, just a little bit. And we, nope, I don't want you to go in that way. Where's my wrench? Oh, apparently the wrench was a quest that we uh, didn't get before for some reason. So if we go ahead and do something like this, I know how I can get this done, but I don't know if I want to do it that way. Hmm. I'm also just remembering that, that I don't even need to do this for what I'm trying to do. Um, I can really just, oh, I forgot the conveyor belts. We can just go ahead and I think we can just do something like this, maybe, and it'll auto place it. No, it won't. Unfortunate. So if I go ahead and place this here and then attach it like so, now we have a belt. And then we just take the iron that's not in our inventory like this. And we go ahead and just place it all right there. Should, yep, it'll start turning it into iron plates. And the reason that speed controller thing was so huge is because this is now moving a lot faster than it normally would. It'd be pretty, pretty slow without it. But let's see if we can actually, oh yeah, now we're, how, how fast can we go? Uh oh. Now we're cooking with gas. And 18 iron plates, just like that. Also noticing there's a quest for the engineer's goggles that we also have that just didn't register for. Um, So we go ahead and grab that reward and that reward. And we did not get... Oh, did we? Andesite tunnels covers can be used to cover up your belts. Um, but you can't use them. Okay. But this is actually, that's another big thing for us. Oh shit. Let me do that. Um, another big thing for us. That's cool. But as the sun sets on this and now my eyes are like see-through, that's weird. <laughs> um, I think it's a good place to end the episode here and I'll hope you guys liked it. Um, let me know. And then, uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time.